I've been looking into the variometer or the vario coupler and it's a type of inductor that was it, it was used by the military for a long time but it was primarily used in early radios crystal radios and then the, the uh, basic tube radios uh, the military used it long after to tune antennas and it's a type of inductor it uh, it replaces the uh, coil or it works with a coil uh, like this one and instead it uh, instead of the wiper arm it uses a tunable ball I can take the top off of here and you can see this ball um, let me uh, tell you what I know about it I'm just starting with it so frankly I don't know a lot and I haven't found a lot of good information on them but again I will tell you what I know my best understanding about how this works right now is that it's basically one long coil so the coil starts here it passes through the center and it comes out at the bottom and as you rotate it what you're doing is you're uh, changing the orientation of the middle section of the coil so when it's in one orientation then it acts like one long coil and as you rotate it it uh, now the center part is less and less uh, oriented along uh, the rest of the coil and so it's less inductance and then as you finally rotate it this way it's in the opposite orientation so it basically cancels the outside coil so it goes from zero to maximum inductance by rotating the handle and that's uh, that's how the inductance part works from what I understand to wind these what you do is you start here at the top on the outside ball and you wind down and when you reach the bottom here you use a, a commutator and brush type arrangement to move the electricity to the inner ball and the winding starts up here and it has to move in the same direction as the outside as the uh, top part of the outside you move along here down here keeping it the same direction and then you exit using a commutator and brush type arrangement so obviously this shaft can't be a single piece of metal it has to uh, has to have a, uh, a break in it somewhere electrically okay so you exit here and then you continue winding in the same direction on the lower part of the outside ball now you may ask how many turns and the answer is that the one I modeled this from had 20 turns on the upper part of the outside 20 turns on the lower part of the outside and then uh, same on the inside had 20 and 20 for a total of 40 so the total thing is 80 turns um, what else also a lot of these they use uh, very low resistance windings so either really big uh, copper uh, uh, windings uh, some of them use as few as five copper windings and they're really large I mean they're they're big flat pieces of copper banding um, some people use lens wire uh, I'm not going to this stuff is expensive and it's hard to find and you have to order it in big lots so I'm just going to use uh, a you know like a 19 gauge copper wire and I might experiment with some smaller wires what else um, that's about it for the windings I I don't know a whole lot more about this I mean if uh, I'm going to post this online so that those of you who are already ahead in this game uh, can can make your own and if you have information uh, you know if you have findings please post in the comments to share with the rest of us this is the smaller version and I have a larger version let me zoom out so you can see kind of compare those uh, this is 50% scale of this and again uh, just the same exact thing just a uh, different size so yeah that's about all I know for right now I'm still learning this and so I will post you know new videos on this as I get things done the next step obviously is to wind it and figure out how to make some uh, good uh, good connections through here on the shaft yeah that's about it for now hope you found that useful and interesting in your home diy crystal radio experimentation